Hello and welcome to Creative Nerds. In this Photoshop tutorial, we'll be showing with you how to create an animation using Photoshop. So firstly, we want to start off by selecting Window. And we want to head over to Timeline. And this will bring up the Timeline window, which is an essential part of the animation. So we want to change it to Create Frame Animation. And then we want to select the button. And then we can drag this up if we want to make this area bigger. We can keep it where it is. Completely up to you. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create one frame. So the first frame, we're going to keep it red, a red heart. And the second frame, we're going to change the heart. So we're going to accept the plus icon, and that will create a new frame. On that second frame, we're then going to change the colour to be a different colour. So we'll go with white so it's nice and noticeable. So we we'll do a colour overlay and change the colour to be white. Or you can even go with purple or pink, whatever colour you choose will work, you think will work best. Once we're happy, if we close that and select OK. And then you'll notice the first frame is red, second frame is white. So what we want to do is we want to change the transition time that it takes to get to that slide. So we'll go with 0 0.5, so it's quite a fast transition between the slides. And we'll change the second frame to be 0 0.5 also. So that means it'll be half a second until it shows the white part and then half a second until it shows the red. And then we can choose the loop, so we can choose it to loop around three times, once or forever, so it just keeps looping around continuously. So we'll choose forever, and then we can test it by selecting play. And there you go, we've created an animated heart in Photoshop in a matter of seconds. If we wanted to, we can then export this out as a GIF, and that can be imported into a website project or be used as a banner on a website. But the possibilities are really endless for what this technique could be used for. I hope this is a useful tutorial and one that you can use in your future design projects. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Creative Nerds for quick tips on how to use Photoshop.